typically when we're looking for fat lighter, we're looking at an injured limb or the stump and root system. And obviously I could find some probably in that, that stump there, but I'm gonna uh, kind of show you a, a unique feature of a uh, lightning strike when it hits a pine. If you look, starting right about here and moving on up the tree, that's the lightning strike injury. And I'm gonna set up this tripod here, this is my little mini tripod, and see if I can kinda demonstrate where the fat wood will be. So here I'm working on that wound from that lightning strike that was created. And uh, it seems what happens is, obviously it'll hit this tree, generally blows the bark off the, the exterior of the tree, but it'll almost boil all the sap, you know, along that, that part of the wound. And what you're left with is typically gonna be some fat wood uh, it does take a little time, but anytime you see a uh, tree that's been hit by lightning, a pine that's been hit by lightning, uh, that is a good source of fat wood. So right off the bat, there's a, a you know decent piece of fat wood. There's a nice piece. Oh yeah, it's getting to the good stuff now. That.
So as you can see with a little effort, you can uh, process, find and process quite a bit of fat wood in short order if you see a downed pine it's been hit by lightning. So I'll probably carve some of these down into small pieces and uh, put them in my fire kit. <laughs> 